Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Outlast. My name's Brian, your host and commentator. Here we are in the female ward. We've got three notes and three documents to snag while we're in here. Can't go in here yet, but we will end up on the other side. In fact, this room here has a has a note in it. We can't go in here either. We're also going to find like five to six batteries, maybe, depending on where they spawn for you. So don't, don't be afraid to use them. You're beginning to understand, but not yet. Even Abraham had to cast his eyes to the ground. But soon, soon, this way, revelation is at hand. All right, well, we located Father Martin, sort of. See what's going on in here. This is a. Uh, I remember that's not dead. This is a dead end. So there's a battery location right here, which I believe it's. Yep, it's for me. My my load my my file. There's one there. You'll be surprised. There's quite a few that we're gonna get. That's locked. And there was a guy here, but he walks away. You think because you go left here and you see. That motherfucker. Chris Walker. I think that was Chris Walker at least. Chris Walker walking on by. Down that hallway. Alright, we're gonna snag our first what? We're gonna snag our first note right here. Just look at this thing. Holy shit. The sound of the machine. Like the sound in my head when the wall rider appeared. I blink and I see static. Something else. Something oily and dark descending behind my eyelids, watching me with organs I can't imagine. But the sound is coming from the machine, too. From inside the walls, I know that sound. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. Got room over here. I believe this is... Oh, no, it's not this room. It's the room in the next room, silly. Got a laundry chute here. We're going to be coming back right back to this area. Not right back. Well, kind of right back. I don't know. Eventually, there's a, there's, this is a battery location, I believe, on harder difficulties. If it's randomized, there's one in this uh, little side room. Unfortunately, not for me, but that's okay, because we're going to find plenty, plenty of them. So, we can go, yeah, we want to go right. This is where we're going to get our first document, all the way down here. You go up these stairs, you can see these are broken, and you can't get up there. So, man, you're like, damn it. What a shame. Let's read this document right here. Document number one. Brief introduction to Wall Rider mythology for MRD support staff, the Murkoff Corp. Note, this is for support slash notational purposes only. Engage in no direct contact with patients during or after therapy. The Wall Rider, also known as an Alp, Mara or Shrat, is a demonic creature of German origin that torments sleepers. They crouch on a sleeper's chest and crush the breath from them. The uh, sleeper wakes terrified, paralyzed, and asphyxiating. The name Mara gives us the word nightmare. Sexual assaults by the demon are rare, but it, is, it has been known to drink milk from the breasts of sleeping women and blood from the nipples of sleeping men. Weird. Blood from the nipples of sleeping men. He drinks blood from the nipples of sleeping men. This is just a room, like a side room to explore. Maybe it has a battery in it somewhere. Not on nightmare mode, or maybe it does, and it's just not appearing in, like as a location for my specific file. Who knows these days? It's a crazy world we live in, so. Alright, we gotta go... Is it up here? Nope, this is... So we have ourselves a bathroom here. These stalls might be battery locations. I don't know, let's check them out. Why not? We're exploring. We're checking things out. We're getting things done. This is a dead end. That door is locked. Don't be going in there. We got this guy here. He's going to be there for quite a while, actually. Eventually, I think he opens that door, though. All right, our next note is right here. Go ahead and film the variant. It's like... Stuck in there. Maybe you have to go into night mode. Oh my god, give me the note. There it is. A dead body at the bottom of the elevator shaft, surrounded by food. He barricaded himself in some place safe, some place nobody could reach him. It didn't work. Didn't didn't. He's got yeah, he's got a little little setup down here. He's got something going on. 
this is the other side of that room. Remember, that's where Father Martin was yelling at us uh, from up, up in the rafters or whatever. There's a battery over here. Look at that. Oh, next to this dead body. Basically, I think these these dead bodies all kind of maybe have random battery spawns. It's just way less depending on what difficulty you're playing on. So they're like probably on normal difficulty, all of them spawn batteries, you know. So let's go down here first. We're going to get our next document real quick. We're just kind of cruising through the female ward, aren't we? Getting all the collectibles. It's going to get a little nuttier later on, but um, as you walk through here, the document's on this table, and there's a guy in the corner. Don't walk up to that guy. He will kill you. He, it's, it's an instant kill. He will immediately kill you. He like stabs. He turns around and stabs you, and you're dead. Unless I don't know if it does it on easier difficulties. I'm not sure. Let's check out this document. Project Paperclip. Joint Intelligence. Objectives Agency, J-I-O-A, document number 8 of 186, location 200, alright, I don't know, <laughs> excerpt, Nazi War Crimes Disclosure Act. A, the first paperclip provides a means of obtaining services of foreign uh, specialists for specific assignments within the technical services of the departments of Army, Navy, and Air Force. Project 63 is primarily a denial program with utilization as a desirable feature. The aim of this program is to secure employment in the United States of certain preeminent German and Austrian specialists, thus denying their services to potential enemies. Ruby, so we got that. We have uh, one more note and one more document to get. The note's going to be a bit later on. It's going to be, we're going to be, you have to record words on the wall, which I think we've done before. We've done that a few times now for notes. Let's head on up here. Open this bad boy. They're like, oh, let's just keep on going. Oh, damn. This door needs a key. This guy's locked right here. We'll be on the other side there eventually, don't you worry. We're gonna be like, hey, I know that room when we look across. There's Father Martin again. He's just gonna walk away. You're just gonna walk away. We'll be, uh, we'll be coming back, don't worry. Let's go. Let's go this way now. This is where we're now going to be, like, officially entering some danger, a danger zone. Ooh, what do we have here? Could this be the key that we need to get in there? The laundry shoe needs three fuses, though. Son of a bitch. Oh, okay. So there's two laundry, or there's two fuses down this way. There's one fuse down this way. We're going to get this one out of the way first because we're going to have variants ch uh, chasing us. This one appears down this hallway. There's only two of them, but this one of them stays in a, a room with a with one of the fuses driven or driving the nails, while the other one basically it, it it like spawns in next to the room that you're I don't know that you get the fuse in. Like he's gonna spawn in this hallway here. There he is. Motherfucker. I'm just gonna hide for a sec. I might book it. Once he gets far enough into the room. Keep going. Go to that corner. Go all the way to the back. Gone. We can close that. This will give us a solid start on him. Go, 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 go. Go, Miles, go. We're going to pop this first one in here since we have it. And we have the time. Don't close this door behind you. And don't close this one either. We're going to use those to slow him down later when he backtracks this way. Now, if we go to the end of this little forky, <laughs> forky hallway here, there's to the left, there's one. And then to the right is the other fuse. We're going to take the right fuse first. Alright, there's also a battery right here. Look at that, gnarly. There's a battery inside this room, too. There's another spawn point. See, they all spawn so close together for me. I guess that was the the issue for my, my playthrough. That's why it's not really an issue in this... I don't know, in this chapter, but... Invite the wall rider. Okay, I guess I'll invite him by snagging this fuse. Sounds good. Let's get going. We're wasting time. I'm wasting time. We gotta book it. Just keep trekking along. Hopefully he's not there. Looks like we did slow him down significantly. You can run in here now, and he's gonna be coming. 
Now, there's also a battery over here in this corner. <laughs> Another battery spawn. See what I mean? Shit's crazy. Alright, yoink. We're gonna snag that. And we're gonna close this. And he doesn't really pursue you. Now, this guy's gonna be... Yep, there he is. Shit. Go, 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 go. Gotta outmaneuver him now. We did have a good jump on him. Hopefully we can keep this. Ah, nice. We got the door. We got the door closed. This guy, see, this guy doesn't really pursue you, so... Oh, man. I turned left way too soon. He just kind of stays in that room being all... Close that guy, and that's going to give us a little bit more of a barrier, even. See what I mean? This is why I was like, have these doors open. That we can close them later and slow his ass down. We can put these last two fuses in. Real quick. Push that button, and it's gonna drop all that below. Oh, so close. Now we gotta go down. Fuck these guys, we're out of here. We got shit to do. There's the door, so yeah, now we need to run down here. Bang a right, bang another right. And then bang a third right, and we're back here in this room. Remember this place? I don't know if we can go back this way. Nope, looks like they locked the door behind us. Fucking variants. Crazy motherfuckers. Let's get this... Yeah, let's get that key. Key access to the third floor. He's got access to the third floor now. I feel special. Oh, shit. So that guy will start to pursue you. You gotta look out there. Oh. Like I said, he opens that later on, eventually. Eventually, he gets to it. And there's that doorway there with the upside down. Oh, man. I love how much you, like, backtrack and can see all the stuff later on. It's really cool, you know? It's good stuff, you know? Alright, here we go. Got another battery coming up right here. Follow the blood. I guess I can do that. Can't go this way. This way is locked, I believe, so yeah. Bummer, dude. Blocked off from so many of the cool places we could be checking out here. Let's go all the way down here. This is probably a battery location, too. I don't know. Not for me. It's not. Game's like, fuck that. You already got enough batteries, Brian. You're battery Brian right now. And I'm like, yeah, no. I am. I don't really need your batteries. There's still, like, two more batteries I'm gonna grab, too. It's funny. Alright, I don't know if there's really too much in this area, but this floor is about to collapse beneath you, no matter what you gotta... The game actually slows miles down there. And forces you to fall through, and then you land into this room, and you're all like, Holy shit, dude. Bananas, bananas, bananas. And I believe... Yep, there we go. So you got another battery. Got another one, baby. Give me that battery. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's see. This is what we want. There's the hole. Make sure you don't fall down it again. All right, and this is our last document all the way in the corner over here. Just sitting on this bed. Let's check that shit out. Wow, this is a long one. All right, excerpt from the diary of Shirley Pierce. Mount Massive Mental Hospital patient, 1952 to 1964. So that was 12 years. How can I not remember where the cuts are coming from? They hurt so deeply, even days later. Dr. Newhouse tells me that it's my fault. I'm subconsciously resisting the hypnotherapy, but I want so much to get better. I don't know how I could be doing this to myself. Dr. Newhouse says it's another condition of my bedroom-inspired hysteria. Poor Bruce. I make him suffer so. I've tried subtly to ask Mrs. Jackson if, she'd ha uh, if she's had familiar issues, or sim similar issues, with her husband, and she is loath to talk about it. Her husband, too, has found comfort in a younger woman. I know the doctors only mean well, and with the help of the government men who've joined the staff, I'm in the very best hands possible. I should just take my pills and sleep and hope for more pleasant dreams tonight. 
I don't know about that. All right, well, we got one more note left to get. It's going to be some blood on the wall. The blood says lies. So, oh, shit. That's right, that's locked. I was like, I want to check this out first. I forgot. All right, well, it came from that way, and then it went this way, and here we go. Lie. That's our final collectible for this chapter. I recognize the handwriting. Father Martin killed a man here. Are the lies he's talking about all the files missing from these boxes? The facts? The records? They look like government agency material. At least 30 years old. Probably older. I start thinking MK Ultra, CIA. Mind control. The buzzing won't stop. Okay. Moving on. And this way wraps back around. You can see this was the other route that we could have taken. It just wraps around. Um, over there might be a battery on this. I don't know. Who even knows anymore? But this is back in this room. So this way goes left and right. If you go right, you can get that note on the wall. Let's continue. I've said enough. Oh, hey. Oh shit, so yeah, um, if you're quick enough, you can scoot by them, which I tried, but I got caught and killed, so you got yourself a jump cut there, which I think I blended pretty well together to make work. Yeah, both of you go down that hallway, don't you split up. They're kind of scripted to walk out there, so if you, if you get them at just the right angle, you can just run immediately past them, but I should also have taken into consideration that most people won't be able to do that so I'm glad it, it failed so I could show like an actual way of not really exploiting it like to show you just back up and let them kind of scatter after you open it oh shit oh no not the camcorder oh man Oh, man, and then a variant just opens the door. He's like, here, let me help you out, buddy. Let me help you out and get your camcorder back, because that's the door we need to take to get get it back. Now, if you try and move into the darkness, he's like, ah, I won't let you. He just stopped. I don't think he can even move any further. This is, this is a dead end on this side, so that doesn't really matter. But let's drop on down, shall we? Man, went through those cracks, or that crack. That's intense, bro. We're so used to having a camera. Now, this part gets a little dark sometimes, but it's not dark all the time, so you don't have to worry too much. You can see there's a battery right there. We'll snag that on the way out. So I don't think I can carry it, and I think we might get another battery, actually, in here. So let's duck on down here. No more collectibles, like I said, so that's kind of nice. We can ignore that. Remember this room for later, this room with all the lockers. This is going to be our exit, is climbing back up there. This room with all the empty lockers, so... We're going to have to be running around in here, memorize this area. That's a dead end down there. Got to remember this thing. You saw a guy running by there. We got to chase him down. This is a dead end. Hmm. Got yourself a jump scare right there. Moving on in. A couple guys are just chilling out, being cool. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> They're not attacking me, so to me that's cool. At least for at these, at least for these guys' standards, these variants. Let's continue on. There we go. Oh, I see it. There's a lantern there too. They put it there, motherfuckers. They did it on purpose. They caught it and brought it here. Well, oh, it's not a lantern. I thought it was a lantern. It's all lit up with the screen, and maybe it did fall like that, but it seems kind of too conveniently put there. Oh, whew, at least now we can see in the dark. Let's look over the... Oh, my God. <laughs> see, yeah, you just gotta go. You just gotta go. Don't try and, like, not let them see you. Don't try and be sneaky. Just fucking run when you see them right there. Because they're gonna chase your ass down. You can lock these and close these ones on them. Fuck it. Give yourself a little extra time. You don't have to, but... I like to do things like that, you know, all crazy. Like, here's that first dead end. Uh, second one, I should say, since we're going in reverse order. And here's that other dead end down there. Going here, back to the locker room. Boom, let's get out of here. Climb on up. And we're free. Free falling. 
<laughs> now I'm free. Let's go to the left. Here we go. Let's go grab that that battery that we saw earlier. You can recharge that. Snag this bad boy. They give you so many batteries. It's weird because I felt like I was I was definitely like getting a little low at parts and you know early on at least there weren't there were like two or three batteries per level in the first. I don't know, two stages. There's a lot of, I don't know, there's a lot more than I thought that there would be, I guess, in these later ones. I didn't think there'd be like five per stage minimum, you know. I'm over here finding like five batteries minimum per stage, per end chapter. It's weird. Well, she, how do we get across now? We can just go along the side here. Easy enough. Boom, scoot on over. Drop on down. And then there's this guy. Only one way out. Only one way. That's all he says. He's not. Well, it's not all he says. How do you know you're not a patient? <laughs> he also says that. But he closes that door, and now we are officially heading into the administration block. This will be our return to the administration block, ladies and gentlemen. So that's exciting, isn't it? As soon as we get through this crack, I think that's when the loading screen hits. So once we do that, we'll end the episode there. We'll go through the notes and the files and documents, and then. Boom, there it is. Look at that. Only two more chapters in the main game right now. This one and then the next one. So let's check out these notes. We got all three of them. Sound of the Machine, No Safe Place, Lies. Documents, all three. Once again, Wall Rider, Nightmares Project, Paperclip, Excerpt, and You Promised Me a Rose Garden. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all for watching. My name's Brian, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.